Joining us now from House Transportation, he is Congressman Jeff Van Drew. And from the Western Energy Alliance, we have President Kathleen Scamma joining us tonight. It's great to see you both. Congressman, we got to deal with this first. Congressman, we want you to listen to President Biden's new blunder, his new gaffe in Arizona. He's in Arizona. He's not going to the border. He's never been there since the Nixon era. He's been in D.C. since then. Let's get your reaction to this. Watch. Why go to a border state and not visit the border? Because there's a more important thing going on. They're going to invest billions of dollars in a new enterprise. More important things going on? He's now saying it's a political stunt to go to the border? Was it a stunt when AOC and Senator Elizabeth Warren went? It's unbelievable. I mean, the things that this man says, you know, quite frankly, he doesn't follow the rule of law. He doesn't care that the borders are open. He doesn't care that our country is literally bleeding. And yet he still tries in some way to defend his lack of interest and his lack of focus. And the very fact, regardless of how he feels about it, that he wouldn't go there. I've been there. Almost every congressperson has been there to investigate, to learn, to listen, to watch, to understand what is happening to the United States of America and the harm he is doing himself and his administration to our border states. Yeah, I mean, he spent unbelievable. He spent 40 percent of his term already in Delaware, Congressman. Yeah, I, you know what? And honestly, I almost wish he would just spend the rest of his term in the basement in Delaware and somebody new would come in, but certainly not the vice president because she possibly is the only person who could be worse than the actual okay. president is in that position. Let's get to Kathleen. Kathleen, it's good to have you on. It's good to see you. Now, your group and the Petroleum Association of Wyoming is suing the White House over its energy policy. Why? Well, we sued on the failure to hold quarterly lease sales. The law is very clear. The administration needs to hold quarterly lease sales uh, for on non-park, non-wilderness public lands where we develop oil and natural gas here in the West. And they have held one set of lease sales in two years, and they're not ha planning to hold another lease sale until uh, June and May of next year. So what do you think of this, um, Congressman Van Drew? So the White House has leased out just 15 percent of public lands for drilling versus a prior administration. And their policy is drain the strategic reserves to historic record lows. Truckers face diesel shortages and rely on communist dictators like Venezuela and the Mideast for oil. You couldn't do a worse job if you wanted to. Frankly, he individually and his administration individually should be sued by every man, woman, and child in the United States of America. So it's okay to use Venezuela's dirty oil. It's okay to get oil and gas from Venezuela when the fact is they mistreat and hurt their people. That's okay. That makes no sense at all. Why not use our clean gas, our clean fuel, our clean oil, and be number one in the country again? We can be, and we were, number one in our energy portfolio. What he's doing to this country is shameful. Kathleen, respond to what the congressman just said, because, you know, the United Nations has said, alleges, alleges that uh, the communist Maduro regime in Venezuela has murdered and killed 7,000 people there in extrajudicial killings. So he's going to human rights abusers around the world to pump more oil, but not U.S. energy? Well, we have a heck of a lot more democracy and better human rights in Texas, New Mexico, and North Dakota and Wyoming than we do in Venezuela, that's for sure. The American producer out here in the West and all across the country um, is ready to increase production if were it not for the overregulation, for the obstacles that this administration puts in our path. You know, to what Kathleen is saying, the story we broke last night, Congressman, the news we broke, that California Governor Gavin Newsom is calling a special session of the California legislature. He wants a new windfall profit tax on oil company profits. Experts say this is just going to get passed on to California consumers and drive up the cost of the pump. Look at California's poverty rate, Congressman. It has the highest poverty rate in the nation and the highest energy prices in the nation, too. 
Well, he's a terrible governor, and that's just a terrible idea. Uh, you know, I think with this administration and a lot of the people that are on that side of the aisle, their focus is to do as much harm as they possibly can to America. If I didn't know better, and I'm not saying there is, but I can understand people who believe there's some type of a conspiracy to hurt America. Everything they're doing is wrong. Everything they're doing is harmful to our people, to our industries and our businesses. Kathleen, I'm tired of it. Kathleen, respond to what the congressman just said. Has, by the way, has the White House responded to your, your lawsuit? No, I wouldn't expect them to respond, um, but, you know, we'll have our day in court on that. When you look at governors like Newsom saying that um, there needs to be a windfall profits tax or there's price gouging, the Federal Trade Commission has looked at price gouging and done over 50 reports on that very subject, and each time they find no price gouging. We as producers, we take the price that is globally set, and that's yeah. based on... You know, a global pr price of oil. We don't set the price of oil. It's you know, to, to your point, we got to go. But even o President Obama, former President Obama's Federal Trade Commission, never found price gouging. There's never been a finding of price gouging by mom and pop gas stations for years. Okay, Congressman Jeff Andrew and Kathleen Scama, a pleasure having you both on. It's good to see you both, and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Thank you. Okay, Merry Christmas to you. To you too.